what's Walmart up to? Well, so we wanted to focus on Walmart, which is the biggest corporation in America, and uh, uh, show uh, how much they get away with in terms of tax loopholes. And what we found is there's some three top line numbers, right? Right now, they're saving a billion dollars a year uh, through uh, ta- tax loopholes off the what the top tax rate is, a billion bucks a year. What kind of tax loopholes do they use? Uh, mostly accelerated depreciation. It's a uh, uh, it's it's a, a, a freebie that corporations got inserted into the tax code years ago and ha- haven't been able to get rid of it. It basically, you know, the amount of time that it takes to wear out plant and equipment, uh, they're they're able to take it on an accelerated basis. So it's a lot quicker. They can deduct the cost of it a lot quicker than, than the actual plant and equipment wears out. Right. Uh, they also are leading a charge to reduce corporate tax rates. Uh, uh, the current statutory tax rate, that's the rate in law, is 35%. They want to bring it down to 25%. So that's a very substantial cut in taxes. We examined how much would they uh, cut their tax bill if they did that, and that would add another $700 million a year in tax breaks. Wow. And then the other thing that we found is <clears throat> that they have uh, $21 billion that's sitting offshore. Uh, these are profits that have been generated offshore, uh, but they've not brought them back to the America. And the reason they haven't brought them back to America is you don't have to pay taxes on those profits until they're returned to America. And so they don't, they're kind of waiting around. They're hoping that Congress will pass a tax bill uh, that will basically give them a free pass on Congress has profits. done this before. They did it. They did it back in 2004. It was called a repatriation tax holiday. What that means is companies repatriate. They bring the money that's offshore. They bring it back here to America. <laughs> they paid uh, a 5% tax rate on that money uh, back in 2004. And we were told that when they repatriated that money that it was going to create an explosion in jobs because when all this money came back into the United States, they would use it to invest in factories and, and facilities and instead, what happened was they increased their dividends, and their CEOs took giant bonuses. And they—that's right. And they also uh, did stock buybacks. Yeah, <laughs> to, yeah, a to, lot of stock to buybacks. inflate the value of their uh, stock, right. which came back to the uh, executives as well, since a lot of their compensation is in ter- is in the form of uh, stocks, right. stock options. So <clears throat> that's right. It was a total boondoggle. Everybody recognizes that as a total boondoggle. Three hundred billion dollars came back. And not one job was created from it. In fact, the Congressional Research Service did a study of this and found that most of the companies, the biggest companies that brought the most money back, actually cut their their workforces in the years right afterwards. Wow. Yeah. So it was a total uh, scam. And they know that. Congress knows that, too. And yet companies are still up here trying to, to work a deal on it. They think... They know they can't get a freestanding bill like that passed anymore because of how bad it was the first time. They want to have it be part of overall corporate tax reform and try and sneak it through. 